So, <clears throat> hello to everybody here online and uh, welcome to this uh, uh, workshop of personal branding and marketing in social media. And I'm still the one of the chef teacher of Omnia and uh, uh, I'm responsible of today's workshop. And uh, first I tell you uh, I'm going to do today. So, like I tell, the main main theme is uh, uh, personal branding and branding and marketing in social media, and also some things more about uh, planning the pop-up event. First, uh, I'll tell you something about timetable we are we are going through today. I put to show it from here. So I think that you see the timetable time table now. First item is about what means a professional identity and how to create it and how you can use portfolio for developing your professional identity. Your personal blog here is a basic tool of your learning process, and that will be your portfolio at the same time. You present your leaning process, uh, learning process to a public with your blog, because this is uh, also a contest. Uh, the blog will be the thing which is evaluated. Uh, then I'm talking about how to use social media uh, as a tool in a professional context. Uh, what you have to take account when you create uh, and use social media accounts for professional purposes. Sorry, Anja. Sorry, Anja. Can you uh, scroll on the, uh, the timetable? We can only see the first uh, ah, part. Thank for that note. I lift it a little bit upper. Yep. So I put it like a little bit to the picture all. Now that I think that you will see that then learning to do with this. Yeah, now it's good. Thank you. So uh <clears throat> well half our break is planned to be about uh, eleven uh, 12 15 in Finland and Estonia, 11, 11 15 in, in Central European time. Uh, and after break, the topic is about uh, uh, what is a business plan and how you make a business plan for a pop up event in this special case. Uh, then I share you some ideas of taking good or better food photos because uh, the visual side of business is extremely important today. Uh, social media media platforms like, like Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube are very, very strongly visual. So it, it's necessary to know how to take uh, visually good, uh, spectacular photos, food photographs. And a last topic today will be the advertising poster of you pop-up restaurant. Making a poster is an obligatory job for you, and that will be one of your duties, develop an advertisement for an event. And of course, finally, I'll give you a heavily work to do. Some practices about these day things and working in this workshop. Uh, I have some tasks for you also. So uh, during the workshop, we, I hope that it's, it's not only, only that I, I'm talking and you are sleeping. Uh, a closed Facebook page, page is created for the communication. I hope that you all are there. And uh, I hope that you ask answer to the task I, I'm going to give through Facebook. And uh, that channel we use through whole pop-up a process so you can always ask questions from 
player and, and, and it's possible also just raise your hand here and, and ask straight from me uh, or use the conversation area here in Teams. And uh, then I would, uh, like uh, I'm talking about marketing today and what is really important in marketing uh, is targeting. That means that you have to need, you need to know uh, to whom are you marketing your things. So also I want to know who are you today. I, I have found that uh, someone from Wamia and, uh, and, and also from Omnia students have done their uh, introduce some in, in Facebook, but I would like to have a small tour of interaction that who we are, who taking a part of this workshop, and after th this introduction, I will give some uh, space or, or microphone to the Wamias teachers. They are going to explain you a little bit of, about the uh, specifications for for uh, or, or over our all frames of, of menu planning planning of the pop up pop up event. So, but now uh, it would like to I would like to ask you who you are if we are uh, like uh, beginning from Estonia side have is there anybody present there yeah, yeah. Uh, hi I'm Marcus I'm the teacher and the mentor to the students yes can you hear me yes I can hear you uh, uh, do you have only one microphone in use or? Yeah, I do. OK, uh, if it's not possible that everybody will present. Uh, himself that or herself here, uh, it would be good if uh, everybody still put some some facts about themselves to the Facebook pa page right now. OK, because I think I, 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 would, I would like to need uh, I, I would like to know to who who are taking a part of this. Of course, of course. Yes. yes. Then if uh, uh, Estonia can't introduce online, so uh, how about Wamia? Is there somebody? Anybody from Wamia students want to uh, present? George, can you take the lead for first and then everybody else can participate? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes, we are he okay, hearing. Now. Okay, now, now I'm good. Yeah, you can put the video on also, George. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, yep. Uh, so I'm using my phone right now. Um, yeah. I'm George. Um, I'm from the Philippines and I'm a second year student in Bamia. And right now I'm looking forward for the event and I would really be glad to add more skills and knowledge, not only on cooking, but also on the marketing side, because this will be helpful if I want to have my own business by the future or uh, just added, just some added information about the modern way of selling your products. Yeah, good, good, okay. good thing. I have one, something to ask to you and for everybody else also. Uh, do you have? Uh, are you present in social media now? Have you accounts in like in Facebook or Instagram, or have you made YouTube videos or TikTok or whatever? Uh, tell 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 how are you present in social media? Okay, um, I'm. I have. So I have a Facebook account. I have a Instagram account. Uh, Pinterest. 
and what else? Uh, those three, those three social platforms I, I do have. I usually upload some of my stuffs there. If I usually I cook at home, I cook at school. I usually put some of the pictures that we, that I do or that we do in school in uh, in those in those social media platforms. Good, that's a great place uh, thing to start with. This. Yep. Is there somebody else who wants to uh, introduce? Thank you, George. Thank you. It's students that will do this. Hi, yes. Can we see you also? Yes, hi. Hi. Yes, hi, I'm Marianne. I'm also a second year student from Vamia. And yeah, it was a great privilege to be part of this um, program. And um, this helps me also to develop and enhance my skills and to gather more ideas. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Have you, uh, do you have uh, uh, social media accounts yourself? Yes, I have a personal Facebook account. I am also active in Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, are there other uh, students in Vamia who wants to present themselves? Thank you, Maria. Thank you. So these were all, all WAMIAs, WAMIA students. Am I right? Kurat, are you there? I can see you, but we can't hear you. I can't see your name on the list. Are you there, Kurat? Uh, yes, I'm here. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kurat. I'm also from WAMIA. And yes, I do have social media IDs where, where I sometimes post the pictures which I cook. Uh, in the school and at home. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. And that was all one yes. Okay. Uh, when? Uh, how about our students? Students, do you want? I want that you 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 have your interaction in in Facebook, but but if some bit will tell about herself. Hey, everyone. Let me see. I can hey. see. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Part of your face, yes. <laughs> nice to meet you all. And my name is Sompi Savankel. I am second year of Omnia. And uh, I'm quite excited. And we'll see what happened. We'll, we'll, um, We'll see. I I quite excited and also talking about the um, the Facebook platform. Uh, I I have my hobby as um, selling cake because I thinking that we can make at home. But of course, I am not professional. I just a student try to practice my hand and and uh, going to the social media and show off myself and get the customer and get the money of course don't earn much but the, i i quite excited to to get more knowledge and and see what will happen and how how we'll go through and more opportunity to 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 get all these and sharings from other yeah Thank you. Thank you. So we are waiting to get uh, uh, introduction of uh, uh, Estonian student to Facebook, and and in that time, uh, uh, if uh, Vamia's teacher will uh, will tell these uh, oral specifications about menu planning, it would be nice to hear now.
Okay, we can. I think we can share the screen. Hermani, do you have the <coughs> have the screen over there now, so we can go through that one? Just a minute. Yes, and then legendary challenge. What do I do? Do I get this application window? Mm -hmm. There we are. Oh. We can share this one now and we can uh, post So it. now it should be here. Yeah, we can post it later on, but it's good to take some notes from it if you have a pen and a pens pen pencil and, and a bit of a paper like like oh, students. It's yeah. So, like Sami said, we recommend that you make some notes. So, this will be the, uh, for you to know what the eventual goal is. So, this is where everything will end up. Yeah, this is what we're aiming for. for yeah. So it's going to be, yeah, so it's going to be a pop-up. The outcome is going to be a pop-up event. And like everybody knows, that we can't at the moment know. Do we have an actual event with the customers or do we just have to cook for ourselves and like ghost guests? But we don't worry about that at this point. It doesn't affect to the planning. So what we are going to do, we are going to have uh, three steep, uh, street food dishes, like, okay, finger food, but again, it's Corona, so nobody's going to eat with the fingers. We are going to use fork and knives, but street food pop-up restaurant style. So it's not going to be a, like full three course menu seated in a fancy restaurant. No, it's something that you can just grab and go and eat while you stand, but we are not using fingers. We might, but because it's Corona, we don't. Okay, so we have their meat, seafood, sweet. So it still like combines slightly this idea of having a start their main course dessert. And then this plant paste, it when they Estonia's turn to have this kind of a day, uh, they will talk about the plant plant based uh, dishes or cooking. So, three different uh, meat, seafood, sweet, plant-based. And uh, so no finger food, actual finger food. And then the portion price for a customer, not the raw material price, but the price for the customer, it's three, two to three euros. So it's a small dish, not a full meal. But when we have uh, these three, so it's going to be like a nine euros all together. So we have starter, three euros, main course, three euros, uh, dessert, three euros. So no more than nine euros all together. So six to nine euros, the complete uh, meal type of thing. Okay, and then we prepare the amount of portions, 20 to 40 each, but this is now heavily relates for what kind of event we actually do. If we have only six people eating in there somewhere, five uh, students plus a few teachers or evaluators, so then we are not going to make 40 each. But if we have actual guests, they are outside somewhere, then we prepare the um, amount enough for everybody. Okay, then the pre-work. Uh, what you are going to prepare during, uh, before this uh, actual pop-up event day. So you are going to do a recipes. So it's for four people and it's going to be, uh, uh, you will see how the model will look. I'm not going to steal more. So then we have the ingredients list 
uh, the, like the shopping list, what you need the ingredients, then prices, calculations, how much the ingredients cost and how what's the profit margin, stuff like that. Uh, layout, how you are going to so pre-plan, how the dish should be looking. We are not testing while we do it. We pre-plan, we test, we take pictures, and then we do what we planned. So the outcome should relate also to the previous uh, like the pre-planning. Then the carbon footprint calculations. So this is the sustainable gastronomy lessons uh, provided by Island. Then special diets have to take also under consideration. Is it gluten-free? Is it lactose-free? How do we modify if we have to? Then a little bit today. So this menu sign may be a bad word, but we mean with this we mean that so the templates, what you are going to, how you are going to um, advertise your stuff. So the menu card itself it says the dishes. So what what you are serving with the prices. Uh, and then story behind the food. So we are not now not just cooking. We are trying to build a whole whole like experience. So we need some story. Why we choose these dishes? Why are uh, and the locality locality is now an aspect. So we take some uh, we use local ingredients and then we put them together like so that it will uh, fulfill like a story. And the same story should be also implemented into the menu, into different locos, and of course in dishes. And then this is presented in also in social media. And how it's going to be presented in social media today, be aware, so you know after this day and all the exercises you do. Okay, do we have questions? Our Sami, some extra comments? Yeah, just to notice that you do this as a team. So Vamiya team will do all this together. Like you can also share the, the things that you think that you are good with it, like somebody taking care of the menu, somebody is taking care of the social media, or you can do all together. I think it's going to be a bit hard now because we have this COVID-19 system going on, but uh, the teams are pretty clever things to do. Zooms are pretty good ways to catch up and do the plannings together. I don't have anything else. The, the, the situations and the systems, I think it should be a bit like clear. Okay, and we are going to talk about this more next week when it's uh, about this local food and creating menus day. Okay, if nobody has questions, so I quit sharing and we can go forward. Yes, thanks a lot for Sami and Hermani, and now I uh, just noticed that I, I forget uh, one one member of our team in, in Omnia because uh, she came from outside to this conversation. Will, will you, Mirana, also present yourself? Not hearing. Are you, Mirana, present? Maybe she can't say anything, but I see her uh, name on the list from outside anyway. But uh, then we continue. So we have two, uh, two students in, in Omnia's team here. So um, uh, now I... Uh, show you my first uh, like presentation and this uh, uh, some facts about menu planning was good to start with this because uh, now you know overall things and 
uh, you have plenty of time to planning, and I I try to uh, start with with uh, uh, marketing and and social media things uh, today, so so you don't have to start to rush on on but planning, but but there's something to start about now, and Sami and Hel Hermanni will uh, uh, tell a much more in, in next week. So there should be now the presentation number one. I think so. Do you see that presentation? Yeah, I hope so. Nobody sees nothing. Yeah, it's here. Okay, thank you. Then uh, uh, first we are talking about uh, this uh, question about what is professional identity? What is professional digital identity? It's like a, easy to think when you put your kitchen clothes on. That is like basis of your uh, professionality. It makes your free time different from your work. And this uh, kitchen uniform you have make makes it like uh, easier to easier to change your mood from uh, from a civil from from free time mood to working mood. And then you should look like a skilled person in your uniform and someone someone who is respected respected representative of uh, of uh, your own profession. Uh, you show, show to a public that you are a member of a professional fraternity or guild. You belong to a professional team. People have um, certain expectations when they see a representative of some profession like Jeff. So you have to understand these expectations. Uh, and you have to also be proud and satisfied to proud yourself as a as a cook that uh, that is the like first uh, leg of brick of that professional ident identity so understanding expected behaviors and standards and individual connection with with the ideology values and beliefs of a profession and being confident on one professional capabilities and feeling satisfied when performing in a role of a profession. So that way you create your professional identity. So um, to be a part of, of a professional group more broadly nowadays, it's more that recommendable uh, to be also present in, in social media. It's it's almost compulsory in, in some cases. Here's uh, that kind of card feel describing uh, personal branding as a combination of uh, actions, beliefs, abilities, and values. And everything starts from your past. What have you done before? What are your abilities, your skills? Where are you good or even excellent? Uh, then there are your values. Uh, what keeps you going? What's it, what is important to you? So. Um, for example, I can tell about myself. It's nice to speak of myself. So, uh, like uh, I'm, I'm natural man. I'm, I'm nat nature lover. Uh, that means in Finland we have this kind of funny term, uh, era jorma. It, it fits me very well. That means uh, like a crazy forest guy who wants to spend his free time around the campfire or hiking, hiking in the woods. Then you have to think. Uh, what are your values? I, I could not imagine my, me uh, uh, branding myself uh, as a, a like city hipster who like to spend his time in a trendy cafe all the time. So, so start to branding yourself in what, what is really important to you based on your past. So have to be a little bit honest, otherwise it's, it's like hard. Um, then there are your beliefs. What you believe it is, it is true. What what you believe to be to be true. 
your perception, perceptions of future. Uh, uh, these beliefs also are, are based uh, on your past experience. Like, uh, then come came the actions, and this uh, feels rotates around your personal brand. So, so this is like uh, this picture. Uh, developing a professional identity includes assessing who you are and what you have you to offer. What do you want when you graduate? In response, it's in response to answer to that that uh, what skills do you have? What are your interests? Or where are you focusing? You use your goals to define who you want to become. What kind of skills or activities do people in your field? Or if you don't have skills or you think that you don't have those skills, you want you start to look them. So you try to develop your skills, develop your specialty. Uh, as you start to think about how you want to package your skills, you may identify uh, skills and experiences you, you, you still need. So, so start to collect them. And there's a now it's good time to uh, make an elevator speech. Elevator speech is like a response if somebody asks you uh, suddenly that what you do for a living. Uh, you should keep a simple and understanding short interaction of your business. What are you doing? Uh, overall, is uh, overall is useful to uh, that you have ready answers to some probable questions people will will make you. Nobody find a hiding hiding step that you have to be present. Like uh, assess your. Uh, Current social media confident and professionals lies it. It's like a, a pick one or two tools and uh, build uh, quality content about yourself. There are some these slides grip, describe different part of your employability, how you can get better jobs. And in this pop-up event, uh, uh, like I told you before, the portfolio, what we, what is, what is the thing here? It, it, it will be on personal block. You open the block, and that will be, that will remain you for the rest of your working life if you want. So uh, just start to start to the, uh, start to do your block and start to build it now it's useful tool for for you to show that what are your skills and what you can do 80 percent of uh, rec writers use social media social networking sites to seek, seek uh, job candidates so um uh, looking for information that supports you are qualified and good worker it's good so uh so choose your channels to be present in social media and so show your personal competence there. Uh, then, then I give some examples here. You know many of these platforms like, like uh, you told already. But uh, if you start from LinkedIn, that's the way of expand your professional net networks like uh, post CVs and, and, and uh, employers to post jobs and LinkedIn uh, allows both workers and employers to create profile and connect with each other, like in social network. So uh, it's like a in real world professional network in, in, in internet. Members can invite anyone to become a connection. So uh, it's not place to post uh, like social <coughs> updates or 
your own pictures, but you can use that as a CV to present yourself. And there are slides of using LinkedIn in our project pages and in Facebook group also. So uh, uh, it's that that slideshow is named uh, "How do I create resume using LinkedIn?" Uh, Instagram is probably familiar for all, I think so, and it's based visual material, so uh, photos and videos, and it's very good platform to release uh, material uh, of combined personally stylish food making skills and good to create your own brand. And Facebook is still significant marketing channel. I do try to advertise you now the Facebooks from like set up your Facebook page, invite your friends, customize, customize the page, uh, convert your existing customers into likes, engage and advertise. That's so simple. So we go on with that. Keeping your blog, you can demonstrate your knowledge, build uh, credibility with pot potential employers and target audience. Of course, there are very many other, other uh, like uh, social media channels like uh, uh, YouTube or TikTok or whatever you can use. So uh, these are not restricted to these examples. So uh, in this project, you, you can choose what channels you want to use. You have to use at least one social media channels, but you can use them all if you have time. So remember this, that we already have digital identity, whether we haven't planned that it's in there. So if you go and Google yourself, there is something. And uh, it's uh, also, there are also uh, things to be aware of. And one thing is, is separate your uh, personal stuff from, from the professional stuff. Create your professional provi profile and think always before you post. So, uh, and don't talk uh, about your colleagues if, if you don't have permission of, of them. And check your security site, security settings from Facebook. And always remember to sometimes Google your, yourself that you know what, what is in there from you. <clears throat> uh, some ideas how to use, uh, use portfolio for personal branding. So, one thing is keep it simple, like uh, always in mind, keep it simple. Your portfolio should not, should be like easy to look at. You have plenty of stuff around in social media, so you can link that to to your uh, uh, portfolio, but you don't have to put everything to the portfolio. So, so it stays like nice looking. Uh, there are something you can make your portfolio out uh, like uh, already when you are here in school, you make a lot of things here that, uh, that that you can fit to your portfolio. Like uh, you can put there your student exchange and internationalization things, competitions like this, and and, uh, and kind of uh, work placements you have done, pra practicing some there. All of these you can collect to your portfolio. And in, here in this project, we want that you make at least uh, uh, six uh, posts or pages to your portfolio from from each uh, workshop item of each uh, or topic of each workshop or our um, modules and then about the uh, competition itself. So uh, these are 
compulsory to be in your portfolio that that thing can, that we can evaluate your action and that portfolio is personal even you work as a team here your portfolio is for you you are just member of a team so uh, here are some uh, fine words about personal branding like uh, i can read the process by which individuals and entrepreneurs differentiate themselves and stand out from a crowd. You separate yourself from the crowd, identify and articulate the exceptional value proportion. Oh, well, uh, these are very fine first, but uh, with not this respect, these go in from one ear and out the other. So, um, uh, I would put it like uh, with a kitchen language. And this is like you build up your reputation as a chef and as a person who who make who who make good food with a with a passion and you show your like food vision to the world and, and create your image as a chef. That that is all about. So um, there are always two sides in personal brand. One side side is uh, like more personal, and other side is uh, like uh, more professional. So uh, uh, today's world, uh, when we are talking about social media, it's necessary uh, or compulsory to be present as a person also. you, it, I, I recommend that you put your own face and person so there and values quite openly because that's the way to get people interested. You can't go just behind the food things. You have to be a little bit open today. There are also some risks for that. If you, you are a very strong person, Personality, like uh, where, where be, there might be always some somebody who don't like you at all, your style at all. So, but you still can't hide behind uh, just food. You you have to put your yourself up as a person, and that is the demand of nowadays world. Uh, so you you also have to get out of the kitchen sometimes <clears throat> uh, you can uh, behave and grace to show that you take pride of being a part of team look to the professional in your field to guess how they behave or grace or and uh, you always can benchmark uh, and look what the others do so so that makes a little bit simple to understand what is like this kind of personal branding. So it's like a process whereby people and their carriers are marked as a brand. These are all a little bit theoretical things, but anyway, it's it's quite simple thing if you think about it. Uh, why is this professional identity so important? Uh, I would uh, simply say that you have to be proud of what you are doing and you have to uh, stand behind your food. In always when you are a good chef, you have to stand behind your food. And when you have this kind of passion, you just bring it visible to the people. That's a base of your personal personal brand. So this is simply simplified description of a personal identity in a nutshell that you have your skills, personality and experience. That's all. Uh, think what are your skills. Uh, for example, uh, are you team player, leader, good communicator or so on? So uh, what is the thing which is very special 
to you. Uh, what is your experience uh, when we are moving uh, uh, our personal brand to social media? That uh, uh, uniqueness is really important. Uh, there are so much like ordinary stuff in social media that you really have to bring up some special features to pay attention there in a positive way, or of course, to get uh, followers and likers. Uh, define your personal brand. What is your goal? What are your values, beliefs? Uh, uh, like, uh, do you want to balance your work or laser, laser time, uh, uh, free time? Uh, uh, want you treat others with respect? These are possible, uh, like, goals. What is unique about me? Is that your range of experience? Or, or, or are you all around skilled person? Are you very eager to learn, eager to succeed? Uh, am, am I logic, log, logical thinker or analyzing models or uh, multitasker? There's a, some possibility. And then, uh, like, you have to think to whom you are building your personal brand. Like I thought, I want to know who is in, present here in, in, in this workshop. You have to know to whom you are setting your goals, making your things. So are you making this for, for, for future employers or some, some network or some, some uh, like uh, pos potential customers it's, it's important to think to whom you are building things. Uh, what do I want to achieve through my personal brand? Do we want to make a positive dig digital footprint or create just CV online? <clears throat> then another topic like uh, how I use, how to use social media as a tool in a professional context. Uh, you can choose if, is your whole profile public or just uh, for selected audiences. So that's that's usual easier to select first there. And uh, mm, you have to be discoverable. People have to found you. So use tags, hashtags, so Mr. Google and the others will find you. So this is the thing for this project. So a hashtag for this project has been given here. That is important. Use this. So uh, you found these uh, slideshows from, from the Facebook at least later when Mika promised to put that all stuff in there. So I have to check, I will check that they will come there. So use this given hashtag for your, for your pictures and your social media pages. Uh, then um, you set your goals, but you also have to think uh, how much time you have to do, uh, time you have to for it. So, uh, like, uh, you have to all also do something in the kitchen still. So, uh, so, like, uh, social media can also be like uh, it's it's stealing your your time quite much. Then you have to think where are you present because it's not possible to be in everywhere in the same time, and you can't walk uh, with your mobile in kitchen all the time because uh, uh, at least I can't. I don't know about the, how multitasker are you, but it's not like uh, among our safety regulations anyway. 
So, um, and uh, for example, like becoming friends in Facebook or connecting on LinkedIn me means that uh, you have to see if others update these dates and then you have to be active there to to so uh, do likes there and, and follow the other people. Build your image carefully. Uh, that that's good thing, the important thing, and uh, and then yes. Well, there's come a good tip, and um, never post in haste. Uh, be aware of dangers like uh, negatively, negativity really takes you to the right direction. So, so uh, that's important that you have like positive feeling going on there. In good feeling. Good food, good feeling, uh, and other de dancers are like cyber bullying here. It's like a, like a sharing negative, harmful, false, or mean content with about some someone else. So uh, be ever aware of these kind of things. Well, this is the first show here. I stop this like now hope so yeah. okay now i get out of this yes so now I have uh, something else for you. So I have first task before break, and uh, I already had sent that task to to the uh, closed Facebook page, but I put also it in here. So. Uh, Now oh, you can see it. I think so. No, it's a bit big, bigger. So, uh, time about 15 minutes. You are discussing together what, what makes social media account professional and what is in what it is in your opinion <clears throat> and which to which you pay attention when you are browsing social media. What would be way to professionalize your social media account? So every team present one. Uh, in a professional way, well done social media accounts you know or can find now from internet. And I want that you put answers, comments, and link, an example account link to the Facebook. And if we have time uh, uh, after break, we keep uh, presentation tour in Teams, or then we just leave it in. To the Facebook, but that's that will be your first first teamwork, and it's a race time about fifteen minutes, and then they have already time for break. So I would say that we I give this uh, task for you to do, and and uh, we at the same time we have a break, and we'll be back after half an hour and discuss, discuss about things 
that you have done with your uh, with the task. So uh, can we continue about like uh, like uh, twelve thirty? That would be good. I can let this uh, task or or also in here so you can you can uh, see it still. Yeah. Yes. So break and we'll be back twelve thirty. 